it's almost Christmas time. Yeah. For y'all, you can go to when it's posted. Merry Christmas to Merry everybody. Christmas. Yes. What well, it'll be Christmas Eve. Yeah. It'll be Christmas Eve, so still. Hope you and yours have a very Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. and even if you don't celebrate, a happy holiday, you know. Right. We all bundled up a little bit warm today. I'm trying to look a little Christmassy. <laughs> And uh, in this little bonus that y'all are getting, y'all are getting a little treat, a little special. And uh, specifically, we're going to be making, at least I'm going to be making red velvet cookies, which I hope they turn out good. And my mom. I'm going to be making banana nut bread. Yes. And she, I'm, I might try a piece, she's going to spit out the nuts, so I can't. I yeah. Can't. <laughs> yeah. But hey, that's what it's called, a banana nut bread. Yep. All right, so we're gonna get started. And you may be hearing yeah, we, Luna. Yeah, we have a rascal monkey. Her yeah. name is Luna. <laughs> she is a Siberian husky. She is the baby of the bunch. Mm -hmm. As far as in human years, but she thinks that she needs to be the center of attention all the time. So you may hear her in the background. Yeah. But anyways, let's get into it. I'm gonna start first. So yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this red velvet cake mix. The uh, very one, and this is these John's right here cream cheese flavored taco chips. I just need, and I'm gonna be following. <laughs> I'll be following hopefully this recipe anyway that they have for oh, making, for making red velvet cookies. <laughs> I don't have the hog, the hog gets in the chair. She is a good. <laughs> He's like, why ain't you giving me the hog? He more just give her a hog. <laughs> okay, I'm, so I'm gonna show you all her hog. You you gonna get it for us? Show up, show them her hog. <laughs> this is kind of chaotic. This is the hog. It'll make that sound. Use your hog for a clown. So if you hear some squealing hog sounds, that's her playing with a hog. Yeah. It shouldn't be that loud because our mics, we also have like mics and stuff too, anyway. So. Yep. Anyway. Okay. So, let's see what you got going on over there. Mm -hmm. So, I have the red velvet cake mix. I'm gonna pour it up in this bowl. All the bit. And the cookie recipe requires specifically uh, a half a cup of vegetable oil. Now listen, I baked a lot of things, okay? You, when it says like vegetable oil, it's just saying a flavorless oil, that's it. So I'm just gonna be using the um, Light tasting olive oil. Yeah. <laughs> That's from Walmart. That's a great value brand. Yes, yes. <laughs> and it requires half a cup. Now these are the things was the cutest things that I found at Target. At Target. So I like them because they take the cups, snaps, all of this just snaps back together. Snap specifically. Yeah, yeah, so you never have to worry about losing them. Together like that. So they stay and connected. all them stored together like that. So I've had some with the rings on it where you have to put it back on the ring and then put them back together. But I like that because it snaps back together. I'm so sorry y'all hear this hog in the background. It's so goofy. It sounds like someone's ripping the seat. <laughs> And that is her she plan with that hog. We just got it for for her birthday, and that's what she wants to do. Like I said, this is kind of chaotic episode, so <laughs> it just is with her, whatever. We film it inside for once. Normally, we'll film outside ish ish is on our patio. Yeah, it's really not outside, but. <clears throat> now I'm taking two eggs. Do the flinching. Two eggs. So she just found the recipe on the red velvet cake box. Mix. I was not expecting to, even though I had this already in my head because I just wanted to uh, do the same thing. I kid you not. You guys okay. see some of them actually like butter and stuff like that. Uh, 
So what, as far as me growing up in, see, bagged up a little boom boom up against it, uh, ring light. Hold on, I, I was trying to look at her. Yeah. I'm trying to go hard to Mm -hmm. He's not gonna be happy with you. I don't care. <laughs> so, we used to help my mom when we got older because mama was big as fun and getting a lot of sweets during the holidays. So, really, um, to us at times growing up, every Sunday was a big dinner. Mom used to have cooked a big dinner every Sunday. So, it was always sweets in the house. And then, um, especially during the holidays, she would do chocolate cake, coconut cake, oh, sweet potato good. pie. Chocolate cake sounds good. Okay. Yeah, she even put, when she did her banana pudding, she would make the custard and stuff and put it in the oven. And then I remember her whipping up the egg whites to make that meringue and make it really, really fluffy. Put that on top of the banana pudding and put that in the oven. It was, ooh. So much work for her, not realizing it, you know, just thinking about it now, because everything that they did, was or she hand. did back at that time, was by hand and from scratch. It was never nothing to the point of, I know with me, when I make my dressing, it is because of her, because I used to try to cut up the green, the, the celery, the onions, um, the, what else? We put on, we're running on carrots or nothing. And at the... Uh, chicken. But the better, it looks nice and shiny. And okay. But she used to cut up all the vegetables and stuff. So her doing that was, that was just a lot when we was growing up. So. We <coughs> never had this before. What is this? It's just like some subtle hint. No. No cream cheese. I thought it was going to be very cream cheese heavy. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Hershey's. Because I'm always looking at cream cheese as fun as cream cheese in the right. block or a cream cheese frosting. Right. Never a cream cheese in a morsel. So, how much? Oh, you just, you just add what you want? Yeah. It, it says specifically for sprinkles anyway on this one with I don't know why the world is really gonna add sprinkles to a uh, cookie, but <laughs> if it's like a the only thing you can sprinkle a is sugar like, cookie, yeah, a snickerdoodle or something that's required. I don't but want no sprinkles on my snickerdoodle. I'm talking just, about just for a regular cookie. Give me some whatever's supposed to go on it. What is cinnamon? Yeah, yeah. Give me some it's of that cinnamon, to sugar, make that when it make that. Snickerdoodle. Now I'm gonna expose ourselves. <laughs> I was going to specifically also make snickerdoodle cookies, but yeah. here's the thing though, I'm too lazy. <laughs> and plus, we I haven't done love snickerdoodle, red, but I haven't done red velvet. You never done a red velvet, red velvet cookie? Yeah. Have you ever done a red velvet yeah. cookie? <laughs> That's what I thought. She had never done a red velvet cookie. We like red velvet cake. Yeah. So let's see how the red velvet cookie is going to come out. These look pretty neat. <laughs> It looks like it. Okay. And that's all you have to do? Yeah. The egg, scooping. the oil, and the morsels. Yeah. The cream, well. The egg, the oil, and uh, whatever add-ins you want. That's it. Okay. I know it was that simple. I'm like, I know the cake mix version is very that simple is to right. do because obviously it's convenient. That is not right. <laughs> if you miss it, mix Oh, okay, you missing some because they need to be washed. Yeah. We're going to wash it afterwards. We did sanitize more here. We did wash our hands. I know I did for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so Kitchen is clean. Yeah. I don't like cooking in a, in a dirty good, kitchen. Kitchen is clean. Kitchen. I'm going to do the two spoons method because we don't have that many ice cream scooper anyway. Right. Expensive. Tell me why some tiny things anyway. I know it's like all you have to do is just scoop and it pops out. But tell me why it's like six to seven dollars though. Really? Yeah. Somebody probably said that's not expensive. I know some baker probably <laughs> will, but to me, I'm like, um, mark it down like almost two dollars and then we'll think say, about it. That's <laughs> worth it. 
probably can find it at like a Michaels or something. But anyway, uh, for traditions, anyway, for me, just while I'm here, I have a big tray already pre lined and stuff. Y'all will see that will just be. But y'all can see me scoop over here specifically. But anyway, uh, with once me, she finished scooping, then she can show that underneath there so yeah. you can see. But for me, that's gonna be a big one, Imaria. I, <laughs> It's flattening out a little bit. But it's going to flatten out some anyway? Mm, it's not going to really flat. It's more going to puff because oh, it's a cake mix. It's a well. cake mix. Okay. So this piece is still going to flatten out though. But now how I'm many gonna... cookies are they going to make? I don't know. We're going to find out. <laughs> okay. This something if new. It's just me off camera. If I make more, trust me, I will. <laughs> I'm going to put some morsels on top as well. Maybe I could have enough morsels in some of them anyway. This one has enough. Yeah. But anyway, traditions with me. Um, I, me and my family always have a tradition, and it's been ever since uh, elementary school. Uh, when at my school, not a lot of schools did this, which I knew when at least I didn't know until I was older that uh, they consider it about. as like Polar Express Day, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's where you dress up in your pajamas, you know, and you watch the Polar Express with your class and drink hot chocolate, get candy canes. You might get some sugar cookies, popcorn, and stuff like Send that. Send the kids home high energy. <laughs> <laughs> Our I don't have this. the hog. You want the hog monkey? Imaria took your hog. She's like, for real? Mm hmm. <laughs> Then she walked over here. You want some of this? You gotta sit down. She'd be excited for food. All, all she has to do is And she can't eat food. none of that. She's not getting any. No. Nope. But she sits and she waits on the food as if she is gonna get some. But since, like, after that, anyway, after um, the first time I ever experienced, like, Polar Express Day, I pulled my family together and was like, hey, Let's just start. Hey, 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 hey. We recorded. No, you did not. I did. I'm going to say, let's just start um, doing it at home, you know? Go in, watch the Polar Express in our pajamas on Christmas Eve and everything like that. And um, just in general, do that with my family. Then, uh, night, no, not 19. Let me not be dramatic. At most a decade later, we still do the same tra yeah, tradition. I like it. I like Polar Express. That is my opinion. It's just it's just to a child's lens, and especially you have like you know a child's heart. Well, it has a good more to the story. Yeah, that's what I like about it. Definitely, I'm just a leap in your imagination. Definitely, and I do have a. Vivid imagination. Vivid imagination. <laughs> I have a childlike imagination at times. So, yeah, you have to. You have to. You can't be serious all the time. You don't have to have some type of imagination and fun in your life. As an adult, too. You know, not only as a kid, you know, just keep you young at heart doing things like that. So, I, I enjoy watching Cold Express. I look forward to it. Having my popcorn, having the hot cocoa, and then watching the movie. Mm-hmm. And we always have like popcorn, at least anyway. Well, puff corn. Because <laughs> yeah. the popcorn turns from gets popcorn stuck in the yeah, puff puff corn. That's what happens. That's the, the... But here you go, right here. Oh, that looks good. And then we go pop this in the oven for how long is this? <laughs> With that being a stick, 10 that, to 14 minutes. <laughs> that's thick. I think it's going to have to be a little longer maybe. than 10 to 14 like, minutes. Maybe. We'll find yeah. out. Yeah. We'll find out. Take Another and another thing that I do too, as far as when, especially because we're going to do the non-traditional things for Christmas this year, we are going to do, did you say what, did we say what we were going to do in the previous podcast as far as Christmas, as far as the Christmas meal? We're doing oh, uh, I hinted at it, but I never said it in like, uh, in person, at least to y'all anyway. Uh, this year, for once, we are going to be doing uh, soup, stews, and chowders. <laughs> Yep. Uh, I'm gonna be making pho, which is a traditional, I believe, 
Chinese dish? Yeah, I could be wrong. Though. It's an Asian. Yeah, it's, it's just gonna put Asian. It like that. It's an Asian <laughs> dish. We don't know which which one of the Asian countries said. I'll, I'll probably proper, correct we'll, myself we'll look it up. in editing yeah. for sure where yeah. it actually originally from. But we're, I'm making shrimp pho, and my mom is gonna be doing a mushroom and shrimp chowder. That sounds so good. Never done it before, but I'm looking forward to it. I found a very. It's a very simple recipe. I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, that ain't that bad. And then uh, for my husband, we're gonna do. Uh, beef stew for him, mm -hmm. a vegetable beef stew. So mama already saying she probably wants some of that. <laughs> and then we're going to make some cornbread. Yeah. Do some cornbread. Cornbread from scratch. Yeah. And that is going to be about it as far as Christmas. I don't think right. that I want to do any. Because this is going to be our sweets anyway. Like afterwards, I'm a free. I'm putting this in a Ziploc bag so I can freeze it. So Christmas Day, if I just want to pop one of these out and just put it on a baking tray and bake it. I could do that. So, okay. Didn't know she was doing that, but hey, we're going to roll with it. <laughs> but, you know, it's still just, you know, creating those things you can hand down from your child and they can hand down that same thing that you do with their kids just to keep that tradition going. Of course, we do know the real reason behind Christmas. We do know that. Mm -hmm. And I definitely never, ever let her forget the real reason behind it because that's the way that I was brought up. That is my belief. Other people believe in other things, but it, it's my belief. So Ooh. we we know. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the trickery that this woman did to make me believe Santa oh, Claus yeah, was she, real until I was 13. Oh, yeah. I, I, I did that. I <sighs> did a really, really good job that. So when she... The entire time, as far as her growing up, we will bake cookies on Christmas Eve. We'll leave out the we cookies. We done gingerbread. We done sugar. Yeah. Different cookies we'll leave out for Santa. I made sure that she wrote her letter to Santa, um, letting them know that she left him some cookies and milk out. I would definitely, um, I don't want to ruin it for, you know, our younger viewers when we get those, but yes, we left and until she stopped wanting to leave cookies and milk out for Santa, we'll stop leaving cookies and milk out for Santa. But we make those cookies and we leave cookies and milk out for Santa. Yeah. I'm not going to ruin anybody's um, belief in Santa. You yeah. believe what you will want, you know. She specifically tricked me to like some of uh, my middle school friends at the time, quote unquote friends. <laughs> We're like, you know Santa's not real, right? He is like, real. Santa is real. Believe what you want. Yeah, you believe what you want. Yep, just find out now. <laughs> okay. But now it's time for the big kahuna, which is my mom's uh, banana nut bread. <laughs> so I'm gonna get in here. I found my recipe, I found at food.com we'll I've, leave it down there in the description i'm pointing it downwards and not yeah. trying to target so we're gonna <laughs> i printed it out but we're gonna leave the website in the description as far as what i where i got it from it's a moist and delicious banana nut bread and it's submitted by sk taggart so that that will be in there so mm -hmm. it's only 10 ingredients it says it yields 18 muffins, but when I'm not going to do mine as a muffin. I'm going to put mine in a loaf low. pan. And the ingredients for it, and plus you'll see it when I put it in there, it's a half a cup of butter or margarine, one and one quarter cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, two eggs, three ripe bananas, smashed about one cup, one quarter cup of milk, two cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a, I'm using all, not all purpose flour, I'm using separation flour, so I'm going to X out the baking soda and the salt. Yeah. And I'm going to put in some chocolate cans and some walnuts. Yep. All right, let me get around here and get the bacon. Gotta go get the bacon. And I'm going to, I told you the recipe before we went on break, mm -hmm. but I just prepped and got everything together yep. so we can get the banana nut bread going. Okay. I'm going to put that up in here. And I'm just going by exactly how they have it here. So they're saying cream the butter and the sugar. Mm 
so I got the butter. Good thing that I did that first. <laughs> and then um, I'm gonna put the sugar in here. So Mix this Talk a little bit more about uh, some of the tradition that y'all that this came in. Well, you know, in the beginning, we wasn't pepper mama in mm -hmm. the kitchen. <clears throat> oh, this looks good. So when I got older, I started asking her how she did certain things. Mm -hmm. And oh, now that she's talking, my mom fixed her dressing a certain way. And she likes the vegetables popped up here and here the crunch with the celery the green onions mm -hmm. you know the onions and stuff <laughs> like that well one day I married the one the book on to love <laughs> and I started fixing Thanksgiving dinner Christmas dinner and stuff man. so I'm preparing it the way that I was brought up as far as preparing it mm -hmm. for the first two years of our marriage she did not eat my Christmas <laughs> He did not like it. He didn't like the freshness as far as the crunchiness of the celery, the onions, and this and that. So, you know, of course, it hurts your feeling. It's your husband. You don't want to eat your food. And you're thinking that, hey, I spend all this time in the kitchen. You don't want to eat my food. This is what my mama cooking. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not the way he wanted to eat it. So I talked to my mom, and she said, instead of doing that, baby, they do have the cream of mushrooms, the cream of onion soup. The cream of uh, it's a stronger chicken. flavor, specifically since it's yeah. mostly a concentrate of right. it. The cream of celery, um, cream of onion. I think I said mm -hmm. that, but I start buying that. So I will. I did the dressing one year with that. Still didn't eat it. The dressing was dry. So I called my sister, my oldest sister. I said, "It's not more the way Mama is. She said we can put the egg in it." And I'm like, "No." So that next year, or probably maybe the same, yep, or maybe Christmas time, whatever rolled mm -hmm. around. So I put the egg in there, and he finally started eating my dressing. I'm, I'm telling you all, like, I know it was over two years <laughs> before he finally ate it. So now, you know, then I just start doing other things as mm -hmm. far as cooking it. I still do cream, the cream of mushroom, chicken, Yes, celery, like, uh, onion, like, um, the turkey, um, turkey <coughs> yeah, uh, fat to it. Like yeah, it if, if we or doing chicken turkey, broth. chicken broth, yeah. you know, things like that. So I do it just to give that moisture to it. I still make sure I put my eggs in there. That's the number one thing I do not want to mix out, mm -hmm. miss doing the, is the uh, eggs to give them moisture. Yeah, exactly. their moisture. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, I know another thing for me that is traditional especially for Thanksgiving, but sometimes I'll do it every now and then for Christmas if they ask for it. I make butter pound cake, but yeah. butter in quotation marks. I'll leave the uh, recipe in the link in the description for the one that I personally use. It's not really a butter pound cake. In my opinion, it's like a cream cheese pound cake because it's so cream cheese heavy. Yeah. So, you know, you have the cream cheese, you got the cake flour, the eggs, you know, it's a very, it's six ingredients but it takes forever to bake that's what that is anyway but a good one a good pound cake anyway should take at least an hour in the oven to at least be fully cooked because at first we used to just do like box cake mix and you know frost it with chocolate frosting and call yeah. it a day to and then too special even with the box cake mix you know it's only going to rise so much for right. you especially so, it depends on like the pan that you yeah. use or how much you use it anyway, with the homemade it's, it's totally different. Mm -hmm. So they're asking me to add the vanilla and the egg. So with the vanilla, it's one teaspoon of vanilla. Mm -hmm. Oops, well, that's going to be a little bit more. But that's okay. It's vanilla. And if it was salt, then I, I really would be concerned about it. But yeah. since it's vanilla, then I'm fine that's with good. that. And the egg is already beaten. This is two eggs. Mm -hmm. Let's that. Two eggs. Let's put that in there. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna mix this up. And you know, I always watch the Food Network oh, and yeah. the this cooking is channel and stuff. The style that we're doing. Yeah, it. and <clears throat> I hear them say, "Okay, we're gonna do the wet ingredients first. Mm -hmm. 
and then we'll add in the dry. So basically that's what we're doing right now. I done did the sugar. Mm -hmm. I've done the um the eggs, the, the egg, the, the butter, the butter, and the yeah. vanilla. And the vanilla. Yeah. So I'm mixing this up, making sure that it's this really whip well. Alright. So the next thing they said combine your dry ingredients and alternately with banana in the milk. So I got my milk right there. So I am going to add a little flour. Add a little flour. This is the flour right here. So this is two cups of flour. So I'm just gonna do probably about a cup right now. And then I'm gonna and the milk is one quarter cup of milk. That. I'm just going to do this, a little bit of that right now. And let me mix some of this up. Put a little bit of bananas in here too. This is three bananas that I just smashed up. I'm going to do half right now. Mm -hmm. But I would say for sure when it comes to tradition with Christmas, creating new ones is always going to be the fun version. I I know for us, for sure, this year alone, uh, yeah, we have definitely. been humbled, yeah. for sure. Oh, definitely, definitely. Thank, thanking God every single day. Yeah. That, that's my higher power. That's who I believe in. So mm -hmm. I definitely thank thank Him every day because this this year is totally different from where we was last year. Yeah. So I'm truly, truly blessed for that. Like I said, once again, we'll talk about that when we're ready, either in a blog, blog post or at mostly to y'all anyway. But specifically, for sure, last year we didn't we didn't have even any of this at all. We had a tiny tree. We exchanged our stockings, and that was it. It was no like really gift giving or anything. Not saying Christmas is about giving gifts. It's more sense of, in my opinion, giving thanks to someone just in the present or at most, you know. Hey, this made me think about you, so here you go. Right. It's not like on the sense of the more money you spend on a gift is uh, more valuable or more meaningful, if that makes any sense. Unless you make it that way, you know? Right. So it's saying, get back in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. It is saying like a half a cup or um, one cup of chopped pecans. So I'm just gonna. All of them is not chopped, so some of them is going to be whole pecans coming but up in here. Like <laughs> but I'm fine with that because I like the pecans. So let's do about next close to a cup. So back to what I was saying. Sure that back up. Uh, now, anyway, from living in a hotel for eight months, was eight it? Eight months. Mm -hmm. And finally got an apartment this year. We have a Christmas tree up, which is really pretty. I might do some panoramic shots of that, specifically for like the intro of this. I think my mom's gonna be surprised at how I'm gonna edit this anyway. So she always does make the job. Definitely we got shocking the to tree. me. Tree, it's nice and minimal. It looks like something that hopped out of Hallmark or something. <laughs> and my favorite time. Thanks for watching this time of year. Got even gifts for the dolls. <laughs> so I mean. I enjoy, you know, this time of year, in my yeah. opinion, because, you know, get close to family and friends and probably have seen the minute. Right. And just enjoy time together. Just be warm and cozy in the house. <laughs> yeah. And just, you, like I said, do traditions that you love, you know. I know one time, specifically, we've done, like, Uno before or Monopoly, but mm -hmm. Monopoly beforehand. We don't have that right now. But... <laughs> No, but we can play it on the iPad. We could. Yeah. That might be fun. Yep. Anyway, uh, specifically with that being said, it's always fun every year, in my opinion, big or small, from mm -hmm. grand to even just dialing it down. You right. still enjoy every year, in my right. opinion. So I'm going to incorporate the rest of this flour of the two cups right here. And the rest of this one quarter cup of milk. Speaking of the dogs, uh, our Luna yeah, had a little birthday. <laughs> yep. She is now four years old. <laughs> and uh, she is a growing dog. Growing every day. She's yeah. a big dog, too. 
and uh, we, like I said, like we said earlier, we got her the cog toy, and she is obsessed with it. <laughs> we also got her some spelling of the favorite trigger word for her, but I don't want to say it. <laughs> right. She looking too. Mm-hmm. She looking like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I heard my name. So what I just did, I just put the flour in here, the rest of the one quarter cup of milk, and then I put in a cup of walnuts. So now I'm going to um, mix everything mix together. All of this together. And she had, at least I did it anyway, a line uh, loaf pan. Yeah. That's so beautiful. So we already lined the loaf pan. I can get the color, the color, the kitchen color, the red, the pink, the color, the color, the color. Oh, yeah. line with parchment paper we got um, aluminum foil, foil. Really not to touch the other side yeah and then we have butter the spray. butter spray so let me finish putting this together mm-hmm. no i am not a chef <laughs> she's not even a baker she cooks that's all we say that's all i it. cook i mean i am a recipe cooker you know <laughs> i'm not the one once I get that recipe down, then I start, you know, making it my own by doing other things to it, just tweaking it to for me. Mm-hmm. But um, no, I'm not the one that said, "Oh, these ingredients sound good together. These spices will be good together." No, that's not I'm me. I'm not even I have that to. type of person either. I'm more so just like, "Oh, I can ha- add this instead of that. Let's see what right. happens." Type of person. That's all I know. So that's I'm using this spatula here because I know it's gonna get everything together for me and I can get all of this off the side and I'm just folding everything in here. Yes, I watch a lot of cooking channel <laughs> and uh, food network. So I know these terms just from watching it. It looks really, really good. All right, so I'm gonna put this in my pan. I have big hands. So, um, so beautiful. Probably with the easy shot right there. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really it's gonna get good even though yes, i don't eat I banana nut bread, like i said banana. i don't like walnuts nor pecans but i do love a good banana bread i can say that first. so next time i just make a banana bread not banana nut bread. or some like banana muffins or something half, like, no, no. <laughs> too much this is gonna be good baker's kiss <laughs> And that's a walnut right there. No walnuts left behind. <laughs> it was a today. It's a baker's pie. <laughs> Ooh. Good. And it looks like it. Okay. And the last time, you know, when I did my banana nut spread, they didn't want the bananas to be as ripe. At least, I didn't have my bananas as ripe. Mm-hmm. I, but I, uh, banana is good in a banana nut recipe, right? And it just depends on how rich you want it. I feel like the riper the banana is, is, um, the flavor of it will come out a lot more. So what I'm going to do is let this sit right here until well, no, I'm not. No, I'm, I'm going to say she's going to pop in okay, the oven. Okay, I'm going to pop in the oven. The oven should be at 350. Yes. Yeah. It's just to an hour to an hour and a half if I'm incorrect. And here it said, I usually, this person who, who put this recipe out there, they, they usually use a smaller bread pan to make the two loaves or use a large one. And mine, I consider it large. One, yeah, a larger one just to make one big loaf, but it would need to bake longer. So I adjust the time because people have been saying it was over baking. Now people are saying it's under baked. So he's going to use the old fashioned test of a toothpick at 45 minutes, then at one hour to a one hour and 30 minutes if needed. Yeah. So I'm going to make sure that I look at it and I'll know for sure. Yep. Like, 
Okay. Let me what? <laughs> I'm going to put the timer on on the microwave for 45 minutes mm -hmm. and then I I think we're going to be uh we're going to come, come back, back specifically going to try out <coughs> these red velvet cookies uh while we wait for this anyway and that's also to give me time to clean the kitchen because yeah. I do not like the yeah. kitchen so I'm cleaning up the kitchen We'll see you all in about 45 minutes. <laughs> the cookies. There's other cookies. They're good. Little too crispy. They I've only left in there for like 20 minutes. But they are still soft though. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. You can't pull it apart. And what's making this sweet to me is the little cream cheese more Yeah. Soup. I thought this was going to be like overly sweet. Yeah. To be honest with you. And it's not. But no. Oh, not bad. Definitely leave it up in there, like it says, 10 to 14 minutes. <laughs> Don't be uh, stupid like me. <laughs> in there for 20. Because she did not check the time. <laughs> yeah. I put a timer on on mine. Mm -hmm. I put the timer on on the microwave so I know at 45 minutes. I'll go check the banana nut bread, and then if it needs to stay in there another 30 minutes or so, then I'll put another 30 minutes on there. Because well, I won't mind turning it right. Talk about this for a second. You said uh, talk about some cookies. I mean, we had um, plenty of cookies in our lifetime, but I will say my favorite one, personally, anyway, is always will be like a good snickerdoodle or a very basic sugar cookie. In my yeah. Opinion. Yeah, and I think I would prefer snickerdoodle over sugar cookies. Yeah, because my brain is not inside for the crunching and it's ASMR yeah, I'm people. sure mine got some crunchiness in it too. <laughs> but for me, I would say with the snickerdoodle anyway, it's like a well-balanced type of sweetness. Well, it's not like the main focus is the sweet sugar cookie, you know? Right. And I know we tried M&M cookies. Of I course, love the M&M cookies. But That's I, a good balance in my But opinion. we haven't made M&M cookies. With, I don't bought M&M cookies, but I have tried or have made chocolate chip cookies. Mm. I've done that. They still cookies, anything when you're cooking, either you're going to follow the recipe to the tea, but if you know how to switch things up that's not going to make the find the results of the cookie mm -hmm. bad or you know just not have a good outcome then I would still say do your research because that's what I do I look at several banana nut recipes and I looked at the end result as far as how to turn out I mean I've seen one online like it was like too dark 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 I didn't even, I just went on past that when it scrolled through mm -hmm. I looked at the ones that had the pictures, and maybe sometimes the pictures can be misleading. Mm -hmm. But I looked at the pictures to say, okay, let me try this recipe because the picture looks, the outcome looks really good. Yeah, and plus as well, it just depends on what outcome you want the cookie texture to be too. Because mm -hmm. some people like a good chew, but still like um, have the gooey inside or whatever. Mm -hmm. Some people also like the. Um, some people also like the, um, like just straight up almost like raw cookie <laughs> Some people like just chewy only. Yeah. To each own. I'm more since I like a good crisp outside with the soft inside personally. That's the thing. Those cookies turned out really be. Yeah. Like they, it almost given like the appeal of like a crumbled cookie or something. Right. But a half of half of that cook is enough for me. <laughs> Probably the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. We tried. But great job though. <laughs> great job. But um specifically we tried uh 
that's ginger snap but it's gingerbread cookie we mm-hmm. i forced you so bad mm-hmm. as a kid to get a pack at walmart anyway and i mean i would eat it now personally but it's not like definitely like ooh, i just didn't taste this snap but the only cookies i would eat is the little debbie ones that come out every christmas the gingerbread ones anyway i don't know something about it it's just nostalgia to me personally my grandmother <clears throat> excuse me not grandmother my great grandmother when we used to go visit her as kids she had those old ginger snap cookies mm-hmm. so every time we went to see big mama we knew we were going to get some fruits apple and orange some candy some type of candy orange slices which was super duper sweet at that time and uh, but we still liked it as kids and then she used to have the peppermint so the candy it was like Look like in a flower. Oh, I'm like, it's like the chopped ones. That's what I'm trying to say. It was, it was peppermint stick, the lemon, the lime, the regular peppermint, the orange. It mm-hmm. was like, I'm going to have to, hopefully I can find a picture of it, of the assorted peppermint stick mm-hmm. that she used to have and pull one of those off and give it to us. That, But I, I really enjoyed the ginger snap cookies. They were really good. I love those ginger snap. You know, grandparents, just going to give us or great grandparent going to give the great grandkids and the great grandkids what they want mm-hmm. because they're going to spoil us mm-hmm. and that's what she did so really really love that with my grandmother as far as growing up and going visiting them it was never during the holidays or anything like that but they always had fresh stuff from the garden so that's something that uh, we look forward to as well because I started eating a tomato sandwich because my grandmother ate a tomato sandwich and those tomato sandwiches was delicious with those big steak tomatoes coming out the garden. Like, the, Ooh, it was good. Like, it wasn't like just regular, not Roman tomatoes, but like Aaron It was to, steak air, tomatoes. Okay, they were the big, big, big. Like the plump heirloom tomatoes? Yes, like, oh, they call them, I think they call they, them a steak tomato. Uh, so big and yeah, they are, and they have like so much like it almost looks like a pumpkin in a way of how like right. And and the thing about it is cutting it up like that, it was it the juice didn't run out of it. Right, because it, it was more ripe. You know? Right, and then we didn't we didn't worry about um, that being your bread being too wet from mm-hmm. having it. But she would snap the mayonnaise on it, put a little bit of salt and pepper on it, put that in between uh, two slices of bread. Ooh, when I met your dad, he he had no idea like would you. We meant I didn't eat meat, and I still don't eat meat. So tomato sandwich was good for me. I put some mayonnaise, cheese, tomato. That's a good sandwich for me. Mm-hmm. A good steak tomato. I mean, it's got to be a really good thick sliced tomato. tomato, tomato. tomato. Yeah, a firm, a like, firm one in order for me add, to have, have that. Have that freshness to really like yeah. just really be good because I, I know for sure Roman tomatoes won't. It won't. It'll be like a mess oh no, and a no, half. no no no. It's it's have to be a really good good to make memories. You should just think the better. Right memories. Now. I may have to go find me one of those tomatoes and make another tomato sandwich. You probably go to the fresh market for that. I would have to go to the fresh market <laughs> or Aldi's or somewhere to get Publix, me. Publix might have that, those heirloom tomatoes. Yeah. Anyway, speaking of just going to places and when I was talking about Walmart earlier, let's have a debate. I'll put on the screen some cookies. The store-bought cookies that are like it's like white powder cookies with like a big pipe of frosting on top of them. Oh, yeah. Sprinkles. Everybody yeah. has a debate about it every year. Are they good cookies or not? In my opinion, they slap. <laughs> they are so dry and so sweet. And They're so definitely good. sweet. Yeah. I don't. It's too much frosting on it for me. I don't. <laughs> when, when you were a kid, you loved it because they would put them out there for every particular season. They're gonna have some out there for Valentine's Day. They're gonna because put some out there for Easter. They're gonna put some out there for and it has to be the St. Walmart Patrick's brand. Day. I tried the Kroger's one, the Kroger's one don't hit. It's the one specifically from Walmart that they have every year. They're still too sweet for me. <laughs> um I it's just too sweet. Even with that rice, her cookie, I think I would eat it more if it didn't have the, the cream cheese because that sweetness is just Yeah, it's there. Yeah, it's sweetness. not a lot there. up in there. I didn't want to too much up in there anyway. But specifically, in my opinion, comment down below. Do y'all like these style of cookies anyway or not? Yay or nay? <laughs> yay or nay. It's a nay for me because it's too sweet. I would say it's a nay. <laughs> but yep, I think uh, we're going to take another break and we're going to come back with the banana nut bread anyway to see 
how that turned out and she's gonna plate it up put some, some slices down we're gonna test that out and then hopefully after that we'll end it this special vacation episode see you in a few all right so the banana bread nut bread is done what i had to do was i put it in the oven for 45 minutes mm -hmm. too much batter i needed a bigger pan <laughs> it spilled so it, everywhere it spilled in over not everywhere in one spot so we was able to clean it up while it was in the oven then i taken it and i put it on top of a cooking sheet mm -hmm. and then it cooked the rest of the way so like i said first time around was 45 minutes and it wasn't completely settled in the center so i put it in i put the timer on for another 30 minutes it was just about ready but it was still the uh, knife didn't come out clean so i put it in there for another 15 minutes so then it actually was done after the 15 minutes and here is the final result. So it, it is it is so much walnuts and pecans and stuff mm -hmm. up in there. So it's really, really mostly good. Mostly take the first bite of this yeah. because I don't need to this much <laughs> Well, she's not a huge fan of when it comes down to pecans and walnuts. No. But here is bite. Mm. Definitely bananas. <laughs> Can definitely taste that. I like it because I'm tasting the walnuts. I'm taking tasting the pecans in every single bite. Yeah. Oh boy, get out. <laughs> So she just wanted to get the parts that don't have any of that in there. So it's just going to be the edges. <laughs> Can you taste the banana? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a really good recipe. Mm -hmm. I put a lot. I put a cup of pecans and a cup of walnuts. But she liked that though. Yeah. So if you really don't want to have that much in there, you can decide on whether you want to go half a cup, half a cup, or just a half a cup completely, or whichever one you want. Mm -hmm. And you'll see on the recipe that it is optional as far as putting that amount in there, mm -hmm. but this is so good. <laughs> it is really good. She'll destroy it there in the between of three weeks, because she don't eat every day. <laughs> no. So, yeah, I'm gonna freeze some. I'm gonna see if my mom wants some. But I refreeze it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this special as much as us making this food this morning. Oh boy. Like, do more styles like this, especially in the future. Let us know in the comments down below. Uh, visit our website specifically. It's what's the top of the game .com. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And follow us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts for sure. Get them ratings up, please. Yeah. This is so moist. You follow the recipe to a T, you would get the same results, especially as it being moist, because it's saying moist and delicious banana nut bread. He did not lie on that, he or she. You'll see um, when we go to the website, and we'll definitely, we'll put up the site as to where I got the recipe from, but it is definitely moist, it's good. Uh, you can follow me personally everywhere, all my socials are linked down in the description. Uh, any final words, mother? No, I just want you to have a happy holidays. Enjoy your time with your family. Yes. Every single second is precious, so please enjoy that time with your family. Yes, I definitely agree with that. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. We'll see y'all for the New Year's anyway. And yeah, I'm going to see you. Bye.